right, we've got everybody gathered up here on the wheelhouse deck. We are watching the video, live video of the launch. Yes, range is green. That's great news. Ready to move forward. If you're just joining us, we are just seconds away. 50 to be exact. It will also launch Lofton, a technology demonstrator developing a new way to safely bring large payloads through the atmosphere. The final seconds. On a clear night in California, here we go. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 1, ignition. And lift off. Lift off of the Atlas V carrying JPSS 2 and Lofton, a new weather observatory for our planet, and a test for planetary exploration. The KSC imaging folks are setting up their infrared camera tracker that will give us live video of lofted as it comes down through the atmosphere and uh, hopefully that will give us a real good idea of where exactly it's going to land. This is the infrared camera that they have running. It's on a gimbal that automatically tracks the whatever target they've got it locked onto. And right now they've got it locked onto the horizon. So as the as the ship rocks back and forth you can see the gimbal is moving to keep target lock on whatever they're looking at. So we just got the updated coordinate points based on the actual launch time. So we're feeding them to the, uh, the ship people so that we can uh, plot our new positions we need to go to. We are powering up the signal relays and getting them connected up to the cell phones that will display the tracking information that comes from lofted when it comes down. We're going to go out and send those up on weather balloons. So we're attaching the relay and a sandbag of ballast to the balloon. And then we'll take it out and launch it off the back of the ship. And they're going to send up two balloons. One of them is a relay that will track lofted, the RV, and the other one is the relay that will track the um, ejectable data recorder. received the last expected coordinate update and so we're converting those right now to give the coordinates to the captain so that we can go to the right spot and you're looking right here at the, oh, the insulation and inflation of loft initial inflation yes that's a beautiful sight uh, wow <laughs> this left or nitrogen left inside the inside the uh, inflatable and so uh, with no uh, that looks great. You no, know, there's a vacuum in space. No pressure to keep that uh, keep that compacted anymore. It just puffs puffs out, and then we start flowing the air, and then it blow in pieces. Uh, air shelter 
straight cover cut, which we obviously we saw. Um, we received Iridium uh, GPS communication, so that's that's a plus. Uh, we we have uh, separation. We have separation uh, of the space. I need you on console. All right, going down, going down the really small balloons because the real time beacon says it's nearby. Oh, really? Slow down. Well, yeah, it says real time beacon says eighteen thousand feet. Yeah. Uh, we can see it. The the recovery lights blinking on the RV out on the horizon, and we've. We've got it on the uh, the infrared camera too. Yes, there it is. There it is. Wow. So we got the aircraft lights blinking. Are the are the lights that we're seeing the ones that are the illumination lights? The steady camera lights? I guess that's the steady camera lights. Cause the, yeah, because uh, the other ones aren't that bright. Yeah. The steady camera lights are brighter than the, the aircraft lights. We're out here on deck while the guys are out in the small boat getting a hold of the RV and bringing it back towards the big boat. Well, the RV is on the ship and tied down and secure. So this was a successful recovery for the RV. When it gets light, we're gonna go searching for the EDR. Out here with Oliver, who is tracking the position of the EDR. How far away is it? It is 1,900 feet away. 1,900 feet away. We can't see it yet, but the sunrise is coming. As soon as the sun comes up, we'll start seeing if we can't find it. of the re-entry vehicle. It's in incredibly good shape for what it went through. Surprisingly, every, everybody that looks at it is surprised at how well it did. 